right, so Lewis is speaking right now and slept through most of the day. Today has been pretty frustrating because I couldn't get my medicine from the pharmacy and they it was the last refill I could have gotten because I couldn't go out last yesterday and apparently yesterday was the last day to get it and we just our body was too tired and it wouldn't let us go out and so we went out today but then they didn't have it and tried to refill it but then they called us and told us we had to call the doctor and then the doctor's office when we called them said we've been trying to get a hold of you for over a year we have to restart this and you have to like see this doctor in November before we can refill this so I'll be out of tea after I take my next shot until November because I didn't do my labs and I didn't do my labs because I freaking hate doctors taking my blood because it's very texturally uncomfortable and because the sight of blood has caused me to throw up, pass out, and have seizures in the past. And even though usually that doesn't happen when I'm at the doctors, as long as I, I tell them to distract me from taking my blood, I really hate them taking my blood because that's taking my vital life essence, that's taking my my power away from me that's taking all my vitamins and nutrients that I need <laughs> that I need those and it's like I feel worse after they take those and I I know I should have called and, and before but I wasn't trying to avoid it for a year it just kind of happened <laughs> I don't I don't know why my autism and DID and stuff it just doesn't let me do things sometimes and then doesn't let our DID system do things that we need to get done. And then we've been low on food, like very low, but tomorrow we get our EBT. And I was supposed to clean the house this morning with my partner, but they had to get ready to go to work. And so we didn't end up being able to do that. And we'll probably start doing that tonight. And then um, I got like a really weird vibe from the people at the pharmacy. And I, have, it's just been a day. It's just been a day. And so I I got back home and I was really upset and I was venting to Baphomet about my life problems. And I'm like, this is just like driving me crazy. <laughs> and then I was really depressed and I feel like I made Baphomet depressed. And then they were just kind of too tired to really be reciprocating. And so they switched out. Sam I switched back in. And he's like, it's okay, it's all right. You can just go go to sleep, it's all right. And so I, then we fell asleep and we woke up at like 6 p.m. or something. So I just slept through the day again. And I, it's like, there's nothing else for me to be doing. I'm too depressed to do anything else. <sighs> I don't know, it's just, and then I have to talk to my therapist tomorrow. And I have to talk to my therapist about some of the difficulties of the headmates I've been having with each other and It's just a lot, I guess. And I think that it's exacerbated by other things going on. Like it's probably exacerbated by I've had like a death in the family and um, fear of humanity trying to destroy my life and se separating autistic and trans people from society and all these laws criminalizing my existence and the... <sighs> systemic genocide of transgender people and just like how not it's just there's so much bull crap and I had to leave certain social medias because I didn't want I didn't want Zio Nazis like telling me to off myself every single day so it's like okay I'm not using those sites anymore and it's like those sites didn't used to be such trash when I started on that one but then they let a white supremacist on their board of communications and it's been ass ever since and it's just like i see all these people online talking about like third spaces and like places where it would be safe to just be yourself and stuff and it's like <laughs> it's the only place that's safe to be myself is in complete isolation like it seems like it's like i can't really go on those social medias i can't really go outside even I'm not even, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. But I, I don't, I don't feel like there's anywhere that is like truly safe. But it's like, there's nowhere that is like really safe 
for for a disabled uh, a trans person right now and it's like i live in a so-called safe state right that just means that compared to the other states they're not going as hard that there isn't as many laws in my specific state criminalizing my existence but it's <laughs> let's see how long that lasts for because that could that could go away and then what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do if they if they make it illegal for me as an autistic person to continue treatment? <sighs> I don't know. It's like, I know I'm a man, whether or not I can maintain a deep voice, or I know I'm gender fluid. Like, I, I fluctuate between being a man and being non-binary. Well, if that's what gender fluid is, it means you have more than one sense of gender, and I have more than one sense of gender because of my freaking DID and autism, but yeah. And then they're making it so you can't get treatment if you're autistic in some places, which is ridiculous because autistic people are four to times more, four to six times more likely to be transgender. So there is a direct correlation. It's not causation, but there is a direct correlation between being autistic and trans, statistically speaking, because we autistic people are four to six times more likely compared to autistics or non-autistics to even be transgender. And I think this is because autism absolutely does affect people's sense of their gender. And there's even a thing called autigender, which is for people who specifically feel like their experience of being transgender and their experience of their autism cannot be unseparated from each other. And I would say yes, even though I don't use that label personally, that absolutely fits me, as well as I would say my DID affects my experience of gender because DID means we we're multiple people, we're not one person, and we can't help it because it's a trauma-based associative disability from childhood abuse. <sighs> so I get, at least I have my demons to protect me when things get hard because it's just so, I mean, I'm a demon. I wanted to share like what I look like in my headspace, but people are just going to accuse us of BS again. But it's like, I am too subtle for this human existence. <laughs> I'm too sensitive and it's hard. It's, hard but we get by